Welcome everyone to my newest Let's Play, The Dog Island for the Nintendo Wii, based on the Japanese uh, art list collection it's called The Dog and Friends, in which uh, dogs were photographed uh, with a fish-eyed lens to give them a distorted uh, kind of view. So this game, like I said, is based on that collection, and uh, while it does appear like a little kitty game, uh, it actually does deal with a lot of uh, mature and uh, adult themes, um, but it's still, I guess, appropriate for kids. Uh, so, like all my other Let's Plays, I will be going for 100% completion on this, which includes getting all the items, all the clothes, and all uh, the scents. So, I'm going to be playing this uh, in honor of my first pet, Buddy Beagle. So, I'll be playing as a beagle, but you can play one of 48 different dogs. So, I'm going to let the uh, intro song play here real quick. And I've included some subtitles so you can all hear it. So, uh, once this finishes playing, I will jump right in. So, I hope you enjoy this uh, Let's Play, and uh, take care, and I'll see you in a little bit after the song. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, that song was called Beyond the Sky, and uh, now we're going to jump into the game. We've got a little Pomeranian there uh, coming out, and I guess I don't know what other type of dog that is. My friend has a Pomeranian, Rocky. He's a good dog, so Pomeranian's nice little doggies. And uh, speaking of doggies, we're going to start off in Peruro Town. This is not the dog island, actually. Uh, this is just the hometown uh, on a separate island. 
Well, where are our uh, hero lives, who will be Buddy Beagle in this Let's Play, because I'm doing this in honor of my first dog, Buddy Beagle, who I got 29 years ago, December 4th, 20, uh, 1992, so. Ahoy there! So you're the new mailman, are ya? One of the new recruits put this letter in the wrong place, and it got soaked. So now the address is all smudged. Can you still deliver it? Hi there, Captain Eldorado. Let's see. Hmm. It's barely legible. But I'll give it a shot. And he runs off. You see all the dogs and clothes. We can get a whole bunch of clothes and accessories. I'll be collecting them all. Uh, you can outfit your dog in many different ways, so. And you have a whole bunch of breeds of dogs, too. You can actually play 48 different breeds, and we'll go over them later, so. Hey, Mr. Donatello, could I ask you a favor? Take a look at this address. Any idea whose it is? Well, now, let's see. It's hard to make out, but... Ah, yes. It's that kid's house. And here is where we will get to name our uh, character, um, choose their breed and their sex. So we got Labrador Retriever, Golden Retriever, Yorkshire Terrier, German Shepherds, Beagles, Dash Hounds, Boxers, Poodles, and when you select them, you can actually change some colors, so... Shih Tzus, Miniature Schnauzer, a Chihuahua, Pugs, so yeah, it is. You can customize some of the colors a little bit, so... It's not just the ones that we see there. Bulldog, there's the Pomeranian again, American Cocker Spaniel, Wattweiler, Boston Terrier, Shetland Shepherd, Sheepdog, Maltese, a Doberman, a Miniature Pincher, a Welsh Corgi, Great Dane, Siberian Husky, Bichon Frisch, a Basset Hound, English Springer Spaniel, a Wormerer, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, a West Highland White Terrier, Australian Shepherd, a Pillion, Collie, Saint Bernard, French Bulldog, a Scottish Terrier, a Carn Terrier, Newfoundland, a Bernese Mountain Dog, Pekingese, Akita, Border Collie, Bull Terrier, Sheba, English Cocker Spaniel, Dalmatian, Flat-coated retriever and Jack Russell Terrier. So yeah, we have a lot of dogs to go with. We're gonna go with our Beagle. We can have one here that has a little bit of a, a wider brow, a uh, little white up his uh, up the center of his uh, face, or a little uh, wider and a more lemon color. So. Uh, Buddy Beagle was more of a brown face, so we're gonna go with the brown and the non-lemon color here. We'll make it a boy, and of course we're going to name it Buddy. We'll also get a chance to have a sibling. Uh, you can choose the sex of your sibling as well. Uh, if you choose a boy, it'll be named Emilio. If you choose a girl, it'll be Maria. Uh, but of course your whole family's gonna be Beagles, so... Or whatever breed you choose, so... You know, Buddy! I believe there was either a brother or a sister. Now, which was it? And this is where you uh, determine, you know, the sex of your sibling. It doesn't really change much. Uh, it changes one letter and a present that you get. 
Oh, you have to get for them. Ah, oh, yes, I remember now. They're both good kids. It's a shame about their father, though. It was a warm day. Or was it cold? Maybe it was cold. Either way, I'm pretty sure. It was when the leaves were just turning color. And the uh, leaves are turning color right now where I live, so... Now this is going to be a long story. So if uh, you'll just have a seat, I'll tell you all about it. Well, I hope you all have a seat, because this is going to be a long playthrough. There's a lot to discover in this game. Oh, no, thank you. You've been a big help already. Thanks, Mr. Donatello. And our postman rocks on. And there is our house. So, this game is kind of plays like a little bit like Zelda. You can do a lot of exploration, exploring runes. You're going to see, like, heart containers uh, up in the... Uh, when you get control of our character. So... And there he is right there, a buddy beagle, sleeping on his little uh, little mat with his little paw blanket. Aw, oh, what a cute little dog. Yeah, this game is so adorable. It's just, aw, oh, doing his uh, cobra stretch there. Now he needs to do downward dog. And there's our mom right there. And our sibling, either Emilio or Maria. And the outfit changes, of course, depending on the, the gender that you select, so. Just the, the animations in this game are so cute, so. See the hull containers in the upper right? They're kind of like Zelda, so. Good morning, Mar. Good morning, brother. Ruff. Your little brother looked like he's feeling better this morning. Aww. Let's have breakfast. Oh. Huh? The milk isn't here yet. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, we can't have cereal without milk. But could you go to the milk store and uh, get some? The milk store is in the square, just outside the house. So this is basically going to be our uh, tutorial, so they have a milk bottle by their door. It's hard to miss. Off you go, then. So this will be explaining how we uh, maneuver around the, uh, the game. Uh, and then also we'll learn about like sniffing and how to pick up items and stuff like that. So this is a little tutorial, but we got our morning chores. So sometimes dog will give you explanations like this, helping you to play the game. If you get what you're being told, press the uh, T button. You can see all the explanations there again. So go to the milk store and get some milk for us. Please hurry. And we move around with the uh, cursor there. Buddy, tonight's the festival. Mom said I can go if I feel better. It's going to be so much fun. Can I go with you? And then you press A to talk. So the milk store is in the square with the fountain just outside the house. They have a milk bottle by the door. It's hard to miss. Off you go then. So yeah, we uh, point the paw print where we want to move, press the B button to move in that direction, and to run, move the paw really far away from your character, to go slower, uh, move the paw closer to your character. You can also adjust the camera angle, and uh, another dog will tell us about that in a little bit here, so. Alright then, you be careful out there. Well, there's not much too, too much to be careful in, this is a small little town. But we'll do a little bit of exploration around here and we got a little bit of quests. Oh, why, it's a letter. Well, how about that? It's from my little nephew. How sweet. Just learning how to write. He's already written me a letter. And letters will play an important part in this game, so we'll be sending presents, we'll be getting presents, we'll get quests through letters. Uh, the postman acts as our save point as well. We save at the mailbox or the postman, so we're getting some more information on the camera. We can use our direction pad to move the camera around. Like this, we can scroll around. Yeah, we run around and oh, here's a dog. Let's talk with him. Tonight is the night of the yearly festival. It's the festival where we express our gratitude toward nature. I think that just means we get to eat a big feast. What do you think? Well, that's going to play an important part. Here's Enzo. He's the milkman. Ah, you're Mars pup, ain't you? 
What? The milk delivery hasn't reached you yet? That kid... Hmm? Ah, uh, I mean, my son, that good for nothing. Yeah, we got a silent protagonist here. He sometimes helps out around here. But look what happens when I trust him. Ha! Huh. You want milk, right? I'll bring it right over to your house, okay? Ah, uh, hold on! Huh? The basket I need to make deliveries is gone. This is a real problem. Without that, how can I do all of the deliveries tomorrow? So we get a... What? You'll search for it? This is uh, gonna teach us about how to search for things. Well, that's mighty nice of you. Are you sure? And when we see an, uh, an, a thing in red, uh, it's usually an item or a sniff that we're gonna have to learn, so... This is what the basket smells like. So we learn the scent of the basket. So, uh, like dogs, dogs tend to, uh, well, dogs, they explore the world mainly through their nose. And that's how we're going to mainly be exploring the world, through our nose. So, yeah, in this game, we, uh, sniff for items. And, uh, so we, uh, wander around and you hold down, uh, the uh, A button to snell. Oh, I've got something else I need to tell you. Select the memo from the menu and press A. Then select the diary option. You can see the request that you are currently helping out with. If you're stuck, press the um, plus button and we can look at our diary. So, you come back. So, we walk around. Once you find the basket, bring it here. So, we walk around, we hold the A button, we start sniffing. And we have the basket scent on our left and we have a mysterious scent here on our right. We dig it up, and hey, we got a beautiful stone. Now, whenever we find beautiful stones, we'll know what that scent is. So, now we're looking for the basket. And we just gotta sniff around, and uh, when that meter fills all the way up, that's where the basket is. So, sometimes it can be a little precise, but once you get to the point where the basket is, or a certain scent is, you just shake the Wii remote, and then you dig it up. So, see if we get the basket here. We're kind of close. Oh, we just gotta wait and... Dig it up here. Sometimes it can be pretty precise. Let's go. There we go. Wait until that thing stops blinking. And hey, we got the basket now. So let's take it back to Enzo. See the big milk container there? Yep. Mom said he's by the milk store. So here's your basket, buddy. Thanks. That's a real big help. And we get a bone, and bones are basically our currency, which, you know, it makes sense. I mean, we're dogs, so... But they call it a wolf, so... If you help a dog out, I'm sure they'll give you more. It's a sign of thanks, and we can use that to uh, buy items, like healing items, uh, for a quest to restore our health, and uh, also clothes and accessories, so... So he tells us that he'll deliver the milk, but we offer to do it ourselves. Okay, sorry about this. Here you go, then. And we got the milk. So let's take it back to our mother. Well, I'm sure your mother is worrying about you. Get off home and put her mind at ease. All right, well, that's one quest complete. So let's uh, head back. Hey, look, the postman's there. Stop and talk with him. Hey, aren't you, buddy? I went to your house to deliver a letter. Who, me? I'm Mr. Postman. I just started working in this town recently. I see you've noticed this red box here. This wonderful box allows you to send letters to dogs far, far away. By writing your memories in a letter, you can record them. Among us postmen, this is all called saving. Here's an idea. Why not give it a try? So uh, let's save our game right here. We have our uh, four different slots that we can choose from. And uh, now whenever we just reset the game, we can start back here, so. How did it go saving? Okay? If I'm here, you can talk to me to save. But if I'm not here, just search this. It isn't as cool as actually talking to me, sure. But it should be able to save your memories, okay? Yeah, sometimes the postman won't be around, but you can just talk with the mailbox and that'll be our save game. So here's what we'll pick up on our next episode. Take care, have a good day. Bye!